Hey there, how y'all doing? This is Weapons Tech Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. And tonight, um, we'll do a little quick review on this Taurus TH9C. So we'll verify that she's empty. Nothing there. Okay, so <clears throat> been a while since I made a video, particularly a long review. It's not going to be that long. I've been down frolicking on the beaches of Pensacola, Florida, enjoying my time down there. But I figured time to get back home and get busy, get doing what I'm going to be doing. And anyway, this is a Taurus TH9C hammer fired. Looks a lot like a G2C along the same line, but uh, it is a hammer fired pistol and a nine millimeter. Um, this one, 13 plus one, 17 plus one. So, if you're into hammer firing and you want one of these Tauruses, I think these are going for about 289, something like that. That might be something to look into. Uh, but anyway, hammer fire pistol. Uh, it's got the standard good uh, Taurus texture on the uh, grip, and uh, it's got the uh, adjustable Novak sights front and rear. Um, it is ambidextrous magazine release. It does have a manual safety, but this safety is also a decocker. So some folks like that. Plus, if you want to carry it with a hammer back, just like you do a 1911, just put that baby up there and uh, you're good to go. Uh, using the, the, the thumb safety, uh, it's pretty easy, simple. This is only on the left side. Uh, slide release is only on the left slot side. Uh, I mean, if you was just take a quick look at it, you'd think this is maybe a G2C or a G3C. Now again, this is a TH9C. It is a compact version of the TH9. They also have a TH40, and I think there's a TH45. But uh, I've uh, shot this, you know, put many rounds through it. You'll see some of that. And so far, I haven't had any problems with it. Uh, it seems to be a pretty solid gun. Now, with most of the Tauruses breakdown is just like a Glock, you put pull them two tabs back down and pull the slide back and she just comes right off. So, yeah, that's pretty simple there. And then it's a simple thing to put it back together. You can see it looks like your standard G2C almost in there. And then, and there you go. Simple, easy takedown. It's got a pit rail at the front. And uh, rear striations, no front striations. Uh, ex uh, extractors, uh, exterior. Uh, the hammer does have a pretty nice uh, striations on it, so it's easily pulled back. Um, that pretty much is kind of runs it down. But there she is. She comes even with the 117 round and one. 13 round magazine. So let's do a little tabletop and I'll show you some shooting and then uh, kind of a final review. All right, so you can see that FDE with the black slide, that looks pretty nice. It's a good looking gun. But uh, again, this is a nine millimeter Luger, semi-automatic hammer fired pistol. And it is a single, double action it does have a second strike capability if you want to call it that although it is hammer fired but uh 17 plus one 13 plus one uh so you do get two magazines the height is 5.16 inches high uh, width is a little over an inch weight is 25 ounces with the 17 round mag in there 
Overall length is 6.85 inches. Barrel length is 3.54 inches. Um, it does have a stainless steel barrel. Uh, barrel finish is matte stainless. Um, front side is drift adjustable as well as the rear sight. They are no back sights. Little three dot. And they're pretty good. Easy to acquire. Alloy steel slide material. Uh, this is matte black slide finish. Frame is a polymer and that's a FDE uh, frame finish grip material. Again, polymer textured, standard Taurus texture, which is pretty darn good. And uh, this particular pistol was made in the United States. And again, it's a double action, single action, manual safety decocker. And that's kind of the breakdown of this thing. Um, take a look at it compared to a, a Glock 19. It's a little bit shorter than a Glock 19. A little bit bigger than a Glock 26. That gives you an idea of comparison of size. All right, so a little finish on this thing. Uh, I put about 250 rounds through it since I bought it. And uh, it only had one problem. And that was Aguila jacketed hollow points. It hated those. I ran all kinds of other jacketed hollow points through it. And it handled those just fine. But if you try to put some Aguila jacketed hollow points, forget it. It ain't doing it. So just uh, if you run Aguila jacketed hollow points, um, keep that in mind. Not, you, not that you can find them that often. But uh, anyway, uh, all the other jacketed hollow points from 147 grain, 124 grain, 115 grain, all of that, it handled it just fine. Didn't have any issues. Um, a couple of times I was running some Second Amendment uh, ammo and I've had some issues lately with Second Amendment warehouse ammo and you know it, it seemed like a light primer stipe so the follow-up you know it was able to shoot it but um, trigger pull double action it kind of feels like a standard Taurus G to see double action single action nothing to write home about okay it's gritty uh, when you're shooting it doesn't seem as bad but it, it doesn't seem like a really good single action trigger I'm just uh, the hammer fired pistol I figured I'd have a better single action trigger than that but I will you to tell you this that when you're shooting it it doesn't seem too bad okay um, but uh, reset is not too bad. I mean, well, let me this. Resets real fast. And hear that it hardly travels eighth of an inch, maybe. So, resets quick. Um, what else? Seems well built, solid, fairly tight. Um, typical Taurus finger spots on either side. Uh, grip texture, rear serrations, I already covered that. So anyway, uh, if you're into a hammer-fired pistol and you like Taurus, maybe you look at getting one of these. 
So, uh, I give it a mixed thumbs up, okay? Um, would I put it in my carry rotation? I don't know. I'd have to earn my trust. So, I don't know. Maybe for a glove box gun, a tackle box gun, something like that, maybe. Bug out bag gun. That would probably be a good thing. They're inexpensive, fairly durable. So anyway, this is Weapon Stack Mac coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas. As always, God bless Texas. God bless the United States. And long live the Republic. <laughs>